Welcome to the timeless journey through the expansive landscapes of a classic TV series that, for many, became a staple of their viewing experience. Whether it was the first time you caught a glimpse of the unfolding narratives or the favorite character that kept you coming back for more, the memories associated with this show are etched in the annals of television history. Did you vividly recall the initial moment when the series captivated your attention? Or do you have a favorite character whose adventures resonated with you? Share your thoughts with us. Now, let's set the stage for a dive into random facts about the show. Wagon Train, a series that unfolded against the backdrop of the American West, was not just a tale of journeys across rugged terrains, but a compelling exploration of human dynamics. The characters, each with their unique stories, wove a tapestry that resonated with audiences, leaving an indelible mark on television storytelling. As we traverse the memories of this iconic series, we invite you to share your most cherished moments and personal experiences in the comments below. Your stories add depth to the legacy of this TV classic. So, when did you first embark on this journey, and who was that one character who made the dusty trails come alive for you? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Crafting memories that would stand the test of time. Wagon Train, a TV series from the late 50 seconds, drew inspiration from the film Wagon Master, where Ward Bond played a different role but set the groundwork for the show. A notable shift occurred in 1963 when Michael Burns joined as Barnaby West after appearing in five earlier episodes as different characters. Another intriguing detail involves Charlie Wooster's medical expertise in the initial season, emphasized by Major Adams. However, this aspect faded in subsequent seasons, with Wooster's character showing little medical know-how. The show's evolution and character dynamics provide a fascinating lens into its narrative development over the years. In its inaugural season, a lone harmonica player set the evening campfire scene's mood with the series theme, a melancholic tune accompanying the majestic orchestration, painted a vivid picture of the wagon train's journey. However, come the second season, a shift occurred. The harmonica's lonely notes were silenced, replaced by a trail song with lyrics, altering the show's sonic landscape. This musical evolution mirrored the series' broader changes. Amidst these shifts, one character, Charles Wooster, underwent a peculiar transformation. His literacy, or lack thereof, became a narrative puzzle. In one episode, Bill Hawks scolds Wooster for peering at a book, deeming him illiterate. Yet, in another instance, Wooster not only reads lines from Romeo and Juliet, but surprises with a scrapbook filled with newspaper clippings, showcasing a side that contradicts his earlier portrayal. These nuances pepper the journey of the characters, emblematic of the series' evolving nature. From harmonicas to literary inconsistencies, Wagon Train's subtle details weave a tapestry of change. An exploration of its sonic and narrative shifts provides a glimpse into the show's dynamic evolution over the seasons. Martin Landau's unexpected encounter with Ward Bond on the set of the 1957 TV series led to a memorable moment. Bond, upon learning that Landau was a Jewish actor from New York, deviated from the usual choreography during a fight scene. Instead of a staged punch, Bond delivered a real one, adding a raw authenticity to the show's dynamics. This incident, reflecting the camaraderie among the cast, is just a glimpse into the behind-the-scenes tales of the series. In another interesting twist, Robert Horton, a central figure in the show, shared more than just screen time with his chestnut Appaloosa. The same horse and gun belt featured in his portrayal in A Man Called Shenandoah, akin to the iconic style of John Wayne in some of his movies. This connection adds a layer of continuity and familiarity for fans across different Western narratives. Additionally, certain episodes like the Malachi Hobart story, the Dr. Denker story, and alias Bill Hawks have found their way into the public domain. These particular narratives, open to a wider audience, offer a unique opportunity to delve into the early storytelling nuances of the series. From unexpected punches to shared props and public domain episodes, the off-screen anecdotes and peculiarities of the 1957 TV series provide an intriguing backdrop to the well-known frontier adventures. Each detail, whether in the script or behind the scenes, contributes to the textured history of this iconic show. Ward Bond's health struggles during the early seasons of the iconic Frontier series had a profound impact on the show's dynamics. Despite facing serious health issues, Bond continued to portray Major Seth Adams. 
However, his deteriorating health eventually led to a significant shift in the series. In the fourth season, Bond tragically passed away due to a heart attack. Surprisingly, the show chose not to address Major Adam's absence, leaving viewers without any on-screen explanation. This marked Bond's final acting project, closing a chapter in the series with an unspoken farewell to a central character. Bond's silent departure added a layer of complexity to the evolving narrative, showcasing the challenges faced by the production behind the scenes. A legacy of Ward Bond's final moments on wagon train lingers, as a poignant aspect of the series' history, unspoken yet deeply felt by those who followed the frontier adventures. Gene Roddenberry, the visionary behind Star Trek, once envisioned his creation as a spacefaring counterpart to a popular frontier series. Describing Star Trek as wagon train to the stars, Roddenberry drew inspiration from the narrative depth of the frontier adventures. Interestingly, a key contributor to wagon train's storytelling was Gene L. Kuhn who wrote 23 episodes of the series. Kuhn's impact on the show's narrative underscores the significance of his contributions, shaping the frontier tales that captivated audiences. Behind the scenes, the camaraderie among the cast wasn't always seamless. Ward Bond and Robert Horton, central figures in the series, faced discord on set. Horton revealed that Bond spread rumors about his sexuality, creating tension. However, in a surprising turn of events, the two men resolved their differences just two days before Bond's passing. This behind-the-scenes drama adds a layer of complexity to the series, reflecting the dynamics that unfolded off-screen. As the series evolved, so did its format. Seasons 1 through 6 and 8 presented hour-long episodes in black and white. Season 7, a notable departure, featured color episodes lasting 90 minutes. Syndication further shaped the viewing experience, with season 7 episodes often aired separately on weekends. Notably, the Stars Encore Westerns channel and INSP have integrated season 7 episodes into their weekday schedules alongside the other episodes. This shift in format offers a glimpse into the changing landscape of television production and audience preferences. In exploring these facets from Roddenberry's visionary connection to Wagon Train, the backstage conflicts between Bond and Horton, to the evolving format of the series, a nuanced picture of this iconic frontier narrative emerges. A blend of creative influences and behind-the-scenes dynamics adds depth to the enduring legacy of the 1957 TV series, providing viewers with a rich tapestry of storytelling and interpersonal complexities. As we meander through the nostalgic trails of yesteryear, the timeless essence of that classic 1957 TV series lingers in the air, weaving stories of adventure, camaraderie, and the vast expanse of the untamed West. Your journey with these memorable characters and the unpredictable frontier has been a tapestry of emotions resonating through the years. Reflecting on this remarkable narrative, I invite you to embark on a personal expedition into the recesses of your memories. What moments from those bygone episodes still echo in your mind? Perhaps it's the indomitable spirit of the pioneers, the breathtaking landscapes, or the unspoken bonds formed around the flickering campfire. This isn't just about a show, it's about the shared experiences, the connections that transcend time. So, as you wander through the corridors of your recollections, I encourage you to share those cherished fragments with others. Let your thoughts echo like distant hoofbeats, resonating across the plains of nostalgia. Your reflections are not just tributes to a bygone era, they are a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. And as you contribute your chapter to the collective narrative, remember that you're not alone in this voyage through the annals of television history. Thank you for lending your moments, your musings, to this timeless narrative that continues to captivate hearts. Your presence in this dialogue makes the journey richer, the memories more vivid. Until our paths cross again, may your recollections be as boundless as the open prairie.